Uh, I've been at GCIT since 2010 in a variety of different uh, roles. I actually started here as a substitute, um, and I did that for two years, and then I was an in-class support teacher for two years. And then about 2015, 2016, uh, I got my own classroom in this wonderful classroom here. I'm single, uh, live alone. Um, I have three brothers, uh, two older, uh, one younger. Um, I have four nephews and a niece. Um, so I spend a lot of time hanging out, going to their games, especially the ones that live. Uh, my oldest brother lives in Egg Harbor. Uh, my other older brother lives in North Carolina. Uh, they're the ones with the kids. So I don't see the North Carolina uh, boys as much, but my uh, niece and nephew that live in Egg Harbor, I try to go to as many of their sporting events. Um, so yeah, that's my family for right now. <laughs> Uh, something that most people wouldn't know about me, uh, I was a singer in high school. Uh, obviously the drama department knows about that. I was in their shows as seen by some of the Academy Awards on my desk. Um, I sang all the way from fifth grade through 12th grade. Uh, I made all South Jersey choir. Uh, as a junior, I made all Eastern choir. Uh, there was a bunch of students from the East Coast. We went to Pittsburgh, performed out in Pittsburgh. Um, so yeah, I used, to be, I used to be a talented singer, I guess you could say. Uh, what students expect in my classroom, uh, I like that fun, um, I like to joke around a lot, um, but we're serious when we get to the material and the content, so they typically can look forward to having a good time, but actually learning. Uh, I think that's the best way, because that's the stuff that's memorable uh, for them when they're in here. Uh, so I teach history. Uh, right now I have the 11th grade world history class. Uh, we'll get through all of world history basically, we'll cover the French Revolution, uh, American Revolution, uh, the World Wars, imperialism, so basically I have to get from, we're in the 1500s now all the way to present day uh, history in the next four months. Um, yesterday, for instance, they drew their friends as Mona Lisa's. So like that's, you know, silly and fun, but we were doing the Renaissance art. So that's something that, you know, that'll lift like, hey, remember the time I drew your face on the Mona Lisa? Um, so we have fun, but we get through the content and um, I like to make it enjoyable for the students. So like they feel like it's somewhere that they can come and they know that they're, uh, they're welcomed.